at the Bloxham Steam Rally last year, somebody said something to me that I, well, really didn't expect. I do, yeah, that's oh, right. Your job ages. Oh, thank you. You're going to have to talk us through it now. Yeah, well, it's, it's a four inch bowl from the kit built for steam drive Um I started building it when I was 15. It took me three years. Um, it's been in steam for two and a half years. Um, Going very well, actually. So, so, how did you find it with the stream, Steam Traction World kit? I mean, what 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 was really challenging about it? Yeah, it's pretty good. They, they describe it as a nut and bolt kit, and you put it all back together. But um, on the few bits I had to tweak and modify to my liking. Um, my granddad painted it for me, so it's good. They're always good to have family that can help. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah so. So is this the sort of thing that you do? I mean, are you, are you an engineer? Is that yeah, what you... Self-employed, I build and repair these at miniatures for a living. So. Right, okay. And that's how I met Luke from LR Crowther oh, Heritage you're Engineering. Engineering. So you're based in, uh, based in Swindon. Swindon? Yeah, Swindon. Right. Yeah. Good old steam town. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, GWR. Yeah, oh, very good. Well, After name? the rally, Luke got in touch and invited me down to his workshop to come and see what he does. And, uh, well, that's where we're off to today. For me, it's a drive down the Fossway, the scenic Fossway down to Sirencester, and then the dual carriageway down to Swindon. It was a grey, steely day as we uh, as we got down to Swindon, but it was uh, great then to arrive at Luke's. Yeah, well, so I'm Luke Calver. I run. I'm self-employed. Run this business. Uh, at our Carver Heritage Engineering. I mainly specialise in miniature engines like, like this size, 4 inch scale, we've got what, 6 inch scale. Um, especially this one's been a, near enough a complete build from a steam traction wood kit. Um, doesn't look particularly pretty at the moment but it's going to be stripped apart and properly spray painted um, once it's all, I know everything works, pass it through its boiler tests and all that. Um, so yeah, it's, there's uh, plenty of work going into all, involved with this, uh, even though it's still a, a kit build. There's, um, it's a lot of work, stuff that didn't quite fit, but the, there's nothing that I can't couldn't solve out. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, so when you're finding things that don't fit, what what are you doing? You are you machining them to size or? Um, so if if it doesn't quite fit, uh, I can assess whether it I can do it myself or whether it's a fault that which. Um, I, stuff like the ash pan which didn't quite fit um, I just that was sent back and uh, a new one was replaced because the customer service from Steam Chat was quite good um, stuff that I had to machine like the wave shaft bracket and all that that didn't quite fit um, the slide valve um, rod um, but I just check it in the machine and as long as it's all set up properly it's easy enough to fit bearings and all that so that's good so yes, most ninety nine percent of the stuff I, I I can do. So what's the um what's the majority of your work then? Is it is it is it finishing off kits for people or? Um, it's basically restoration and repair. Um, I normally that engine I got there is that's been a full build and um that's just, that's a rebuild. It's a, it's low carrier. Um, so it's basically just any odd job that needs doing or a full build, even a little job, even a bit of paint work or anything like that. It's uh, quite selective and I know I've got contacts so I can, if there's something I can't do, I know people that can do it. So it's uh, it's quite good being in, in this area where I've got a couple of local people to help out with. So what first got you into then, uh, into Steam? Well, my, my granddad got me into Steam and uh, so he, he got me in the steam on a railway locomotive, an hour gauge railway locomotive, um, near Chicken Norton. And uh, it's a Darjeeling locomotive, the only one to come out of India. Nice an hour gauge, nice blue number 19B. And uh, I started off just making tea on, at the railway, cleaning a bit. So where, where's that railway, near Chipping Norton? Steeple Aston. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm. so it's, it's privately owned. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it, the owner passed away last December, um, so it's all up in a bit, bit of up in air at the moment. We don't know what's happening, but I, I worked my way up uh, eight years and got. Um, I was one steaming away from being the fireman on it, but it's uh, 
it still could happen. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, yeah. but um, but that got me into steam in the first place. And then I, I, was to have, I went to engineering college, UTC, and that got me in. Well, I wanted to do engineering in the first place, but didn't know what. Um, I like I like the openness of an engine, a steam engine. Cause you can see what's going on, um, and that's intrigued me and all that. And I just happened to know that um, there was people in Swindon that did full size steam restoration. So work experience got me into that, and they invited me to do rallies and road runs, and it just happened from there. What full size did you were you first involved in that? So I was first involved with a bow traction engine, same kind of compounds, the same design as this with a low pressure and high pressure cylinder. Um, and that was, didn't have a name, but it's uh, registered number BL4843. Um, so I out crewed that for several years. Here in Swindon? Here in Swindon. It was sold last year. Right. Um, I can't remember exactly where it went. Um, and it was Marston Steam, they've got it now. Oh yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, so that's how I crewed with, but there were several engines in the uh, I approved with, a couple still left. Um, so over the last seven, eight years I've been uh, lucky enough to help run these engines and uh, it's quite handy to put the skills back into a miniature engine. Uh, so if, yeah, if somebody was thinking about getting involved in traction engines, yeah. what would you recommend? In terms of a, a route to do that, I mean, so, I, I I went and saw Tom and and, yeah. and, and, and spent a day with him. That's yeah, where I started. But yeah, Tom, Tom's a good a good bloke. Um, if you're real new to it, I would suggest going through the National Traction Engine Trust. Um, so even if if you're younger than 21, you can go to the SAC. So that's part of the National Traction Engine Trust. That's yeah, unfortunately, that was a while ago for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they're, they're good good people to. Um, get in contact with if you want to get involved because um, if you get, become a member they you go to rallies and all that and just say you're a member and to just be up front with a go up to an engine owner say um, that you're interested in getting involved they they might say no but it's always worth trying to ask there's nowadays a lot of people are much more open to new people get involved especially younger people it's uh, because um, everyone needs an engine to pass down to, really. Because you're only a custodian to the engine. You never, you never own an engine. You're just part of its history. Because that that engine will outlive everyone. But yeah, so yeah, the National Trans Engine is a good place to go start off with. But yeah. So what um, of the of the rallies that you've gone to? Which 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 of the rallies that you particularly like? What what have you really enjoyed? Um. So I went to. 10 to 15 rallies last year um, and every, every rally is good in their own right uh, I particularly like blocks and rally and that's why I got involved with it um, with the minutes exception and all that um, but you also got new rallies well new old rallies like Fairford rally coming and get, coming up this year in August um, which I'm going to be involved with um, Yes, yeah, so I've I've already sent an application for that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they get trying to get me to be minister section leader. Uh, sort of on the fence a bit still, but, but, but I can see me being part of it. Um, but rallies, uh, yeah. So Bloxham is one of my favourite rallies. You got um, the rally in South Cerny is quite a big rally. Yeah, that's um, that's big, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I always went with a full size engine. I haven't been on a miniature engine yet. Um, but I've always enjoyed that, especially because most of the time it's nice and hot and sunny, um, being early August. But yeah, it's um, there's I like little shows as well. I don't not the, I don't just like the big rallies. The little shows have got so much character involved, um, especially the new ones like the Rona Rally. That's um, where's that? That's near Wooden Bassett, um, not relatively near anyway. Um, that, that's a nice charity run. Everything's non, non profit and all that. Yeah. It's funny because one of the ones that I wanted to go to was uh, Welland. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, so I got in touch with the uh, the section leader for miniature at Welland. Yeah. Because on one of the Facebook groups they'd said you know they were they were talking about it and I got in touch and said oh I saw from the group you're 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 accepting entries um, and I I got an email back that just said well I don't know where you've heard that from we're always talking to people but anyway it's completely full it's always oversubscribed. Um, and there's a waiting list if you'd like me to put yeah. put you on it. I thought, what? So you're not 
open for entry but it's already full yeah right okay yeah. I know, oh yeah yeah Welland's a very big rally um, well, very well known rally as well um, I've only been once so I sort of I helped out with that little there's a little rail, two foot gauge railway on there which I helped out on one day um, but yeah it's big rallies can get a, can get quite a lot of work involved put it that way because it's always in steam always a load of people around you um, that's why I enjoyed small rallies and small little events because um, it's just it's much more friend well, say still everything's still friendly um, but it's much more open and you can be a bit more relaxed in walls and all that which is quite good um, especially rallies you can just trundle around wherever you want to go yeah it's, uh, <laughs> yeah normally you can't go near the trade stands that's unfortunate you can't do a drive through on the stands it's, uh, but yeah that's why I, I much prefer small rallies so but yeah no, that's great. Anyway, look. Yeah, cheers. Shake your hand. Thank you for that. Yeah. It's um no, it's been really, really good coming down to see you. And uh, yes, well, I'll uh, um probably April, I'd say. You yeah. know, we'll uh, we'll get you over and uh, we'll get it going and have a play as well. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Get down to the pub. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Cheers.